I'm still going to the the party, Alex. I just need. Oh, if it was today, bro, I don't know. I would have been like, uh, <laughs> <it> died. <laughs> hey, you know what, Alex? I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna be there too. All right, you'll be there in spirit. I, you took my joke away. Screw you. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my. This guy just stealing jokes, man. Oh my god. Oh. I thought he was gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, and I was gonna be like, yeah, in spirit. <laughs> no, this nigga <thing laughs> just took it away. God oh damn it! I'm never speaking again. <laughs> and bro, fuck this. I'm That's done. Hilarious. All right, the Democracy Space Station has entered the first of uh, four construction phase. It's inspiring, gray tone, Haji can. What the fuck? Oh, hull. Oh my god, <laughs> I read that wrong. Gray tone hull can already be seen in orbit in the, on the screen. Once complete, the DS will be a new strategic level weapon and will wield powerful hell diver. Directed weaponry to aid the liberation of its orbited planet. Through a cutting edge voting system, the Hell Divers will determine where to deploy the DSS and when to use its capabilities. Reaching the next stage of DSS deployment demands significant scientific breakthrough. Really? Alright. <laughs> the completed station will be in order. A magnitude larger than the Super Destroyer, beyond the capacity of the current warp drives to trans transport without astronomic consumption. Hell divers are ordered to clear to uh, ministry, whatever, sign will provide the government high capable of efficiency, transporting. Uh, oh, okay. Now, so we gotta wait four rotations for us to get this giant ass space station? And who knows what it actually even does? Oh, well, it, it, hopefully about? on Hell Divers. Hell Divers. Oh, they're like the game is building a space station for us, but at the same time, it's like we got wait four rotations, meaning like four major orders, right? Basically four weeks. Yeah, so we got wait four weeks for for it to come out finally, and then we'll find out what it does. Hopefully, it's badass. Give me a nuke. I'm um, just nuke ourselves. We die. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bro. Let me see. Ship blew up. Holy shit. Do you guys have a favorite Autobot or Decepticon when you were when you were young? Well, I'll tell you what, my favorite Decepticon is definitely not Starscre Starscream. Starscream? Starscream? Yeah. Whatever the fuck his name is? No, I fucking like Starscream, bro. <laughs> I hate him. Fuck that nigga, bro. Nah, my favorite Decepticon was Soundwave. Really? Oh, yeah, Soundwave was cool. I don't know, I think, I, I haven't really thought, I mean, basically just, just Megatron for Decepticons. And then I know a lot of people for Autobots is fine. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Fuck I never Bumblebee, liked Bumblebee bro. like that, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's funny. Honestly. I didn't like any of the Autobots. They're all mid. What? I love Ironhide. He was my favorite Autobot, bro. <laughs> Would you say that, man? Eh, he had jokes. That was about it. Oh, I'm hurt. Uh, but my Decepti fair Decepticon would, would do definitely be Shockwave, bro. I thought he was a fucking badass, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know for Autobot. Autobot, I'm not sure. That's funny, too. I'm looking up a whole bunch of Autobots, and one of their names is Mudflap. Excuse me? Why? Yeah, Mudflap. 
He was on Transformers <laughs> 2, I think. Uh, Mudflap and... What's his brother's <laughs> name? Skids? Skibs? I don't fucking mm. remember. Iron Eye does look sick, though. I, I like his Generation 1 and uh, the Bay verse Ironhide, bro. They look sick as fuck, honestly. What else? Ooh, Jetfire sounds cool. Jetfire sounds sick. Sucks he's been, barely been in any of Transformers movie. Hmm. Dude, RC from Transformers Prime, bro. I Dude, I don't know why. She was hot to me, bro. Even though she was a robot. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's on Netflix. I think it's, like, the first season. But, like, oh, my God, dude. I just thought she was, her voice <laughs> and her physique, I guess. <laughs> I was like, man, if I was Bro, a bot. <laughs> honestly, I honestly, I can't even, I can't even judge you for liking a robot. Because, bro, just look at Murder Drones, bro. Look at V, bro. I, I can't say anything, bro. I can't say shit. V and Sin, bro. V and Sin. <laughs> Even if Sin's wearing a goddamn corpse, bro, don't care. I just don't care. Don't, don't care. Fucked. That's fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> pussy still pussy. Oh my god, I saw. Never mind, bro. That sounded disgusting when I said that. Out loud. <laughs> uh, I cringe myself, bro. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, my God. <sighs> Fuck, I can't be yawning already. I haven't even went to work yet. <laughs> I hate that feeling, too, bro. I'm at work. I laid, got in, start the clock. Yawn. I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> am I yawning, bro? <laughs> I literally just got here. Oh, my God. So, so what day... Does Thousand Year Blood War actually come out, like the new season? I don't fucking know, bro. Oh, fuck. I, I heard it's supposed to be in October. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can look at You know what? It sucks, bro. I can't even watch it on Crunchyroll. It's on fucking Hulu. I'm like, fuck. Well, I, I guess I could watch it on the website, but I want to watch it on my TV. Fuck. Um, let's see. Release. Maybe it's on Disney Plus, because I know Hulu is. Oh, October 5th. Oh, really? It says the third and final part of Bleach Thousand Year Blood War is scheduled to premiere on October 5th, 2024. Thank God it's the last season. Because I don't want to drag on. Because I'm like, do you already, it's already done. The manga's done. Just wrap it all up on 